All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay. So I got some hands-on time with the Galaxy S23 Ultra, and I'm here to tell you that it is the same device. In fact, this is the S23 Ultra. Yeah. <laughs> Folks, uh, I made a video recently, and by the way, this video has been recorded with the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4, one of my favorite devices for creation. Absolutely love this device because I love the 6x5 aspect ratio when recording. And if you have a folding device like an Apple Find N or just any of the other big uh, foldable devices that fold into a tablet, how does this video look for you? If you have the Z Flip 4 and any of the Z Flip devices, you just fold your device uh, in this orientation and it'll fill the top half of the screen for you. Now, the S23 Ultra. I made a video recently talking about how it's pretty much the same as this S22 Ultra. And some of you guys really got heated. Oh my gosh, you got in your feelings quick. Really what I was talking about is it's going to look the same. As a creator, obviously you know that I know that the internals are going to be the latest Snapdragon version. Uh, they're going to talk about how it's so much more powerful. They're going to talk about how it's got a 500 megapixel camera. And now you can zoom in and shoot the moon and all this other nonsense that people just really don't use on a regular basis. They're pretty much doing what a lot of companies do, which is use the same hardware, and I'm not mad at that. But as a person uh, on the consumer side, creator side says, hey, do what you gotta do, keep it pushing, I appreciate what you're doing, but the consumer side of me says, uh, I'm gonna want a new design if I'm gonna be paying $2,000 for a device. Yeah, I'm gonna want something to look completely different. But companies do this from time to time. They'll bring out the same device. They'll bring out the same hardware and just make the internals different. This isn't something that's new. I'm, I'm used to that. I just, I'm, like I said, I'm tired of companies reinventing the wheel over and over and over again. And some people say, well, there's only so much you can do. No, no, there's plenty of hardware changes that this phone can make or they can make to this phone. There's a ton of them. Now, even though this is a great design, I've always said it since day one, I don't like these sharp corners. It doesn't matter how big my hands are, folks. I don't like sharp corners on devices, which is why phones like the Z Flip 4 are perfect in the hand. Uh, and then also the phone I'm recording with the Z Fold 4 is flawless in the hand. It's got those curved edges, which I really love. But through and through, this is a Samsung Galaxy Note. They can sell it however they want to sell it. This is a Note. And the S23 uh, is no, I'm reaching for my Note on that fin on that side. Um, this device, the S23, is going to come out in four different colors. Officially, they've officially been leaked. Uh, those are the international models. I don't know if the U.S. models will have anything different. We don't know. We're, we're just assuming at this point. Some people are complaining about the box on the device. What do you need a fancy box for? <laughs> I guess, man. Uh, what do you, is, is it for resale purposes or just to show on display on your, your table? I don't know. But what I do know is I could appreciate your, your comments. I, I respect it. I, I understand if you want a fancy box, that's cool with me. Uh, get a fancy box. You're just going to take your phone out, though, and put the box aside. Um, yeah, good show pieces, I guess. Um, but, you know, the S23, folks, is going to look exactly like this with different internals, S23 Ultra. Now, the S23, which is the one I'm extremely excited about, I'm hoping that that one... Um, comes in some pretty eclectic colors. I, I think there's like a pink version, but I'm looking at that gold, actually. I'm actually looking at the gold version of that device that is coming out. Um, it should be fairly sleek. Let me see if I can find that picture that I posted inside of the chat, my chat here. Uh, media. Yeah, here we go. This is looks like a pretty sleek color, man. I wanted the gold version of the Fold 4, and I was, that was my second choice. Uh, but this is actually looking pretty sleek, and I think I might roll with this, man. I think I might roll with it. That is the Bora purple color on the plus size. But, you know, o overall, folks, I'm, I'm fairly happy with the S23's size. I think I'm going to really be happy with that. Now, I've been using the Zenfone 9. This is probably one of the sleekest, smallest, most powerful phones I've ever used. Uh, camera game is on point. This is a phenomenal device, folks. If you don't have that phone, you know, your creator, 
you can just live vicariously through me and other creators who have it because it's actually it feels so good in the hand but nonetheless the s23 ultra is getting all the attention when when in fact i've always said it since day one companies give you an out they give you a way to escape all the nonsense and not spend a lot of money now there are rumors floating around that the price of the uh s23s are going to go up a hundred bucks uh, and pretty much the S23 lineup is going up 100 to 200 bucks. Now, every year we complain about the price on these devices. And every year, and I'll say we, even though I don't do this every year, but we trade in a device um, and we take the discounts that Samsung offers. And we, get, we, we stay in this cycle of trading in our, our good devices. And I'm trying to make this the year that I break that cycle and not give up my beautiful devices, man. Oh, they, they, and they still work. Uh, and that way I can kind of give you some comparisons, but the S23s are gonna come in some pretty nice colors. I'm hoping that there's a, um, a, a limited color for the S23. Now the S23 Ultra, like I said, all these devices will have the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 or whatever it's gonna be called. Um, they're all gonna be uh, having the same internals, I'm more interested in, you know, not trading in and see how much these devices cost. They're all going to cost at least a hundred to two hundred dollars more. And every year we do the same cycle. We complain about it and then we buy it anyway. We do this with not just Samsung. We do this with every company. Every company comes out with a device. They increase the price most times, or they bring the same device. And in the U.S., everything just circles around Apple and, and Samsung. And then Google comes in and brings out the Pixel lineup, which it is the Pixel 7 lineup. And I'll include the 6A. Phenomenal, folks. Phenomenal lineup. Totally competes with everything out there on the market and actually beats the, the other things on the market in a lot of areas. Going to need some improvements. Um, but uh, other than that, they're they're doing phenomenal, man. But Samsung is going to bring out the S23 lineup, and they're supposed to have uh, all the same peak brightness. So that's that's a huge plus. I'm excited about that. Um, the again, the color schemes. Not not too much worried about that. This is the color that I think I might get. That gold right there. It's totally different. But you know, I'm looking for something that I haven't even thought about getting before on a smaller slab like this. But we shall see how this works. Just me rambling on about the S23 and the lineup. It is coming. We are less than a week away at the recording of this video. And you're starting to see tons of people post on the S23. When in fact, the S22 is still very relevant. And I don't see the performance uh, of the... Um, they always sell you... Companies always sell you on, you know, this is going to be a better performer and all these other things. But in reality, for me, man, I, I think Samsung has some bangers out right now. This the the three that I have are are just they're they're great, man. I mean, the 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 Z Flip Four has so many improvements on battery. It just it performs phenomenal. The battery life is what people hated on it. Um, the cameras are greatly improved. There's just so much to like about this device. This feels much better in the hand. Uh, than this device does. Yeah, it's narrower, I get it and everything, but this feels so much better holding this device in the hand uh, for phone calls when I do, opposed to the S22. So if in fact they do bring something very nice, I, I really would like to see, you know, the Z Flip 5 and the Z Fold 5, if that's what they're gonna be called. I really would like to see them do something different, you know, go with the different aspect ratio, not for this model, but for the, the Z Fold 4, uh, or Z Fold 5, I want to see some major changes with these devices because they cost a lot of money. And um, consumers uh, who don't complain about that are financing it for 36 months <laughs> or trading in perfectly good devices and taking a huge hit uh, when I think about it. Um, you're taking a, a major hit when you when you trade in. Even if you started off at one and you're no longer and you're swapping out devices evenly or even getting a little bit of credit back, you still at some point took a hit uh, on the value of your device. And then the companies turn around and, and sell it for more than the trade in or they have deals already set to where they're going to profit. So they got to remain profitable. But what do you want to see once again uh, for the S23 lineup? We already know that the that the 
S23 Ultra is going to look exactly like this device. There's no secrets about that. Um, oh, one more thing. There's also been discussions about RAM. Oh, they're only coming with 8 gigs of RAM. I think, you know, that's the techie side of people talking. In reality, Apple has already proven that you don't need a lot of RAM for something to work properly and last you. I mean, Apple's products, you can bring them out with two, three gigs of RAM versus seven, eight, 10, 15 gigs of RAM on, Apple, on Android devices, and they perform completely different. The Apple devices are always smooth, and the reason being is because they've learned to match together their hardware and software and link it together in a way that it just flows. That is what Android should be looking for. Um, Samsung has great UI. One UI 5, I've been on Android 13 on all these devices. Well, I've been on Android 13 on this one the longest. But about a month ago, I got it on the uh, Z Flip 4, I believe. And then the Z Flip, Z Fold 4 recently put it on that one. So, it, you know, it's a shame that, you know, we kind of get caught up in the things that just don't, no one's really even using these devices to its full potential. Not even some of these creators that get out there and say, oh, I can't believe it's only got... That's just that's just conversation starters to keep things going. That's the way I see it. If this if the Z, if the Ultras come out with 8 gigs of RAM, they just come out with 8 gigs of RAM. If the Z Fold 5 comes out with 10 gigs of RAM or 8 gigs of RAM, but it's way more efficient and it gives you longer battery and it performs better and it still knocks out all the tasks and everything works the same, if not better, what does it matter that it has less RAM? And that's the end of that conversation. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.